Moving on to a fantastic fight, an amazing fight, a main event fight. Granted, yes, this should be Jan Blockowitz versus Glover Teixeira. I'm sorry, because Glover <laughs> Teixeira would have been the belt. There's, there's no way around it. Like, if you want to have like aged 205er versus Israel Desanya, it deserved to be Glover Teixeira. Like, I, I will not hear any of it. There's literally one time that I picked against Glover Teixeira. Well, I guess two times because against John Jones, but. And he's made me so much money. And he would have beat Jan Blackowitz. And then I, I mean, granted, I would have to see him against Israel Adesanya. But okay, sorry. Away. We got Janie from the block, Jan Blackowitz, plus 190 versus Israel Adesanya. Mr. Puma, if you've seen his new ad, minus 230. Mikey Gills, talk to me about Yanni from the block versus Izzy. Yeah, so right away, picks Adesanya. Uh, just going to go ahead and straight to the DraftKings part. And it just, man, Adesanya can piss you off. Like, we are, we're one fight removed from a five round, 49 point decision against Joel. Uh, you look at his fights against Silva Vittori. He didn't score more than 56 points. Like, Izzy just does these things where, like, he either shows too much respect or just doesn't try at all, or maybe it's a bad style matchup. He doesn't want to do more than he has to. But, like, it's funny that he gets comparisons to Anderson Silva because, like, I wasn't playing DraftKings back then, but, like, you can only imagine how angry Anderson would make you, like, when one fight he looks like Neo in the Matrix, the next fight he's basically a human statue. Like, it's maddening. And, you know, for $9,100, don't like maddening. I'm, I'm definitely going to end up playing him in certain lineups. Like, you know, of course you have to. But, like, I, if I'm offering, like, my most confident one, is he just not at my table for that one? Like, I, I feel like he's already looking past Jan. Like, he's already given interviews about potential fight dates with John Jones for the light heavyweight and the heavyweight matchup. And literally neither of those guys have fought in either of those divisions yet. Like, I don't know. It's just the, the picks is he, uh, he could very easily turn out to be a great DraftKings player, but for 9,100, if I have to pick between him and Amanda Nunes, it's going to be Amanda Nunes. So it's just, he has that weird habit of not showing up, but yeah, definitely the pick to win. Yeah, I can't wait for this fight. I'm a huge Izzy fan. If you listen to the podcast for as long as we've been on, I've been just all over Izzy talking about he's the best striker there is in the UFC, period. Mm -hmm. And uh, nothing's going to change that here. Uh, I know that John, uh, Jan's going to be a little bit bigger. He's going to you know, have a little bit of strength edge, but uh, he's, he's not going to have the speed edge. He's not going to have the agility. Uh, Israel Asanya's striking is absolutely phenomenal. It is world class. It is something to behold. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, hate him for certain reasons, but uh, Izzy is is the man he's going to win this weekend his striking will be on point and hopefully it'll be a double champ for anyone who's listened to this show for a long length of time i have made a lot of money on jan blockowitz he has been my guy at 205 i mean i probably made more money on glover there's probably only i've actually made a lot of money at 205 in general that i think about it my biggest uh ryan bader rumble glover to share and jan blockowitz have been money trains for me like Pretty much in perpetuity. Uh, followed them when they won. Pretty much can call when they lose. I usually don't hop on the off the train too early, but I did with Jan Blockwitz by one fight. I picked him against Dominic Reyes, but I didn't bet him. And I had thought about it. Like he had a chance, but I was just like, you know what? The guy did good enough against John Jones, but that's similar to the issue with the Tiago Santos breakdowns from earlier. It's people are giving too much credit to guys that fight John close when John's fighting on the safer side. Clear, but safe. And... I want to pick Jan Blockwitz here, but I'm sorry, I'm off the train. He had a very opportune title challenge at that point when he beat Dominic Reyes. I think very a lot of light heavyweights would have beat that Dominic Reyes fairly easily. I mean, Glover would have done it. Rumble was still there. He would have done it. Heck, Rakic might have done it. Like, I mean, it was just it, Dominic Reyes was in a bad, bad place. Israel Desanya... It's going to be really weird when he, I mean, I don't know if he's trolling or what, but he says he's going to weigh like low 190s for this fight, which is basically just him not cutting weight, which is kind of hilarious for me. Um, ooh, we got Mr. Royalty, Mr. Million Views, Randy W. Horton hopping in for the comments, man. Thank you for hopping in and congratulations in person for that amazing million views you've gotten on here thus far with Haps not even being around for super long. That's awesome, man. Coming in for the main event. I appreciate that. Um, is he is probably just going to pick apart Jan Blockwitz from the outside. He's it, That's all he has to do, and he can do that if he wants to, and then he can catch Blockwitz tripping, coming in. He can get him tripping, coming straight in, and countering when he wants to. So he, he very well might get a finish. It's exceedingly possible, but I do have think it has a chance to go long unless Blockwitz decides to bum rush. 
if he pulls the Costa and I'm going to run directly into your hands, this is phenomenal. I can't wait. Um, that's just kind of, I'm sorry. That's just kind of how I see it. I think he's going to pick him apart at range for product. Like he's willing to have a boring fight to win. He absolutely is. Especially you just sneak a stinker in there every once in a while. You were good. Um, I think if this was Israel assignment, even of a couple of years ago, Blackless would have been able to take him down. But at this point, he's a good wrestler, but with it not being his base, I don't think he has a chance to do it. I think he's going to get clipped and clipped a lot and kicked a lot to the body and to the leg and need and put in the clinch. And it's just end of the day. It's not going to be good for Blackwoods. Although I do think more than likely it's just going to be a clear decision for Izzy unless Blackwoods decides to run forward, which I would advise against in general. Although I guess it might be his only chance, but I don't think he has the power to do it. I quite like Izzy's chin.